Hello my precious friends, I really hope that you are doing great. Welcome to our today's class. It's our third lesson on a given form 3 mathematics topic called sequences and series. So we are looking at our fourth example which is a past case equation tested in 2000, a paper 2, question number 18. So the question reads that uh, the 11th term of an arithmetic progression is four times its second term. So we are being told that the 11th term is actually a four times the second term of the same a progression. Then we are further told that the sum of the first seven terms of the same progression is 175. That if you take the sum of the first seven terms, that is S7, they must give us 175. So in part F of the question, we are told to find the first term and the common difference of this particular progression. Remember that first term is usually denoted by small a, whereas the common difference is usually denoted by a small d. So because we are being told that this is an arithmetic progression, it is an AP, therefore we must apply the formulas for the uh, arithmetic progression. And of course, because we are given the 11th term and also the second term, we are going to uh, use the formula for the uh, nth term of a given AP. So the nth term is usually given by A plus N minus 1, then into bracket you multiply with uh, D. So our 11th term will be given by, uh, so the 11th term uh, will be given by A, which is the first term, then of course plus uh, N will now be 11 because we are talking of 11 terms, then minus 1, then we multiply with the uh, common difference. So the 11th term will be given by A, then of course plus 11 minus 1, you're going to get uh, 10, then multiplied by D, you're going to get A plus uh, 10D. Then you also find an equivalence of the second term. So the second term of an AP, of course, will be given by A, then of course plus the number of terms, N is 2, then of course minus 1, then multiplied by D. So 2 because of the uh, second term. So this one is going to give us A, then of course plus uh, 2 minus 1, you'll get 1. 1 multiplied by D, you're going to get a D. Now, from this particular statement, we were told that the 11th term is equal to 4 times the second term. So if the 11th term uh, is equivalent to 4 times the second term, therefore we are going to get the following. So if I substitute, my 11th term is A plus 10 a D. Therefore, it simply means that uh, if I take A, then of course plus uh, 10 D, this one is supposed to give me 4 multiplied by the second term. So our second term is A plus D. So this will be A, then of course plus D. Then if I open the brackets on the right hand side, I'm going to have A, then of course plus uh, 10 D uh, being equal to uh, 4 times A, I'll get a uh, 4 A, then of course plus 4 times D, I'm going to get a 4D. Then uh, from this particular point, I'm simply going to collect the uh, like terms together such that I'm going to take A towards the right hand side to add with 4A. Then of course, a 4D, I'll take it towards the uh, left hand side uh, to be subtracted from uh, the uh, 10D. Therefore, uh, we are going to end up with the following. So let me separate my working using this particular uh, straight line here. So this one means that we are going to get uh, the following. So we are going to have on the left hand side, we'll have uh, 10D, then of course minus 4D uh, being equal to. On the right hand side, we are going to end up with a 4A, uh, then of course minus A. So this will give us 10D minus 4D. You're going to get positive uh, 6D uh, being equal to. 4a minus a, you're going to get a uh, 3a. Then I divide through by 3. I also divide through uh, by 3 so that uh, the 3 and 3 will cancel out. Then 3 here, 1, 3 into 6, that is uh, 2 times. Therefore, it simply means that a will actually be equivalent to a uh, 2 d. Therefore, I'm going to let this one to be uh, my first equation. Then I'll also use the second statement that I'm given uh, from the equation. I'm told that uh, the sum of the first seven terms is 175. Now remember that for an arithmetic progression, the sum of 
terms or the sum of n terms is usually given by n over 2 uh, then of course into uh, 2a then of course plus uh, n minus 1 then we close the bracket then you multiply with uh, d then we close the larger uh, brackets therefore when we talk of uh, the first seven terms which we are given as 175 we are going to talk about uh, s7 because the number of terms are now seven uh, which should be equivalent to uh, the value of n is actually a seven then divided by two then we open brackets we are going to have two multiplied by a then of course plus uh, the number of terms are seven then minus one then i close the bracket then of course times d so if i open this bracket i'm going to have uh, s7 then remember i'm told that the sum of the first seven terms is 175 therefore uh, we can actually equate this one to uh, 175 so this means that 7 by by 2 we are going to get a uh, 3.5 uh, then into bracket we are going to have a uh, 2a then of course plus a uh, 7 minus 1 will get 6 6 times d we are going to get a uh, 6d then i'll close the bracket then this one will be equivalent to 175. Now, if I open the bracket on the left-hand side, I'm going to have a 3.5 multiplying with 2a. 3.5, of course, uh, multiplied uh, by 7. We are simp That is by 2. We are going to get a positive 7. So this will give us uh, 7a, then of course plus uh, 3.5 multiplied by 6. So 3.5 by 2 was giving us 7, then 3.5 uh, multiplied by 6, we are going to get positive 21. So this will give us uh, 21 uh, D, then of course being equivalent to uh, 175. Therefore, this will be my equation Roman 2. Remember our aim is to find the values of, uh, that is uh, A, which represents the first term, and of course D, uh, which represents what we call the uh, common difference. Therefore, uh, we are going to get uh, the following. So I'm going to substitute. So I'll say substituting, uh, substituting, substituting equation Roman 1 uh, in equation Roman 2. I'm going to get the following. So remember our equation Roman 1 was uh, A is equals to uh, 2D. Therefore, where I have A, I'm going to substitute here with a uh, 2d so equation 2 will become a 7 then into bracket a but my value of a is actually equivalent to 2d so i'll have a uh, 7 into 2d then i close the bracket i continue with this equation so we have plus uh, 21 uh, d then of course the whole of this is equivalent to 175 so this will be 7 by 2 i'm going to get positive 14 uh, d then of course plus uh, 21d so this one is equivalent to 175 then from there if i take 14 plus 21 so 14 plus 21 i'm going to get uh, 35 so this will be uh, 35d so 35d is equivalent to 175 then i'll divide through by 35 i also divide through by 35 so of course 35 and 35 will cancel out so that we get the value of d uh, being equivalent to uh, 175 then divided by uh, 35 which is going to give us a uh, 5 as the value of our common difference so the common difference is 5 then from there i'm going to substitute so i'm going to say that um substituting so substituting uh substituting uh, substituting uh, d is equals to 5 in uh, the first equation i'm going to get the following remember our first equation was this one here which was uh, a is equals to uh, 2d therefore if i substitute i'll have 2 into the value of d is 5 therefore it means that a uh, will actually be equivalent to a uh, positive 10 therefore we can conclude and say that the first term for this particular uh, arithmetic progression uh, was 10 whereas the uh, common difference was actually a uh, positive 5 therefore 
uh, we are going to conclude and say uh, that therefore uh, our first term uh, the first term uh, the first term of this particular progression uh, which is equals to a is equivalent to uh, positive 10 and the common difference uh, the common uh, difference of this particular progression uh, which is denoted by D uh, was given by a uh, positive 5 then we'll move to part B of the question so in part B of the question we are given that uh, the pith term of the progression is uh, greater than 124 find the least value of uh, P so when we talk of the pith term we are simply talking of the nth term so the nth term uh, for any arithmetic progression of course is given by a then of course plus n minus 1 then you multiply with uh, d then it means that the pith term from the same formula will be given by uh, the first term then of course plus uh, so our n will now be a uh, p then of course minus 1 then you multiply with uh, d but you already have the values of a and d therefore i'm going to substitute them so uh, that our pith term will be equivalent to the first term a was actually equivalent to positive 10 so this will be 10 then plus uh, p then minus 1 then we multiply with the common difference which we got as positive uh, 5 so of course multiplied by 5 so if i open brackets on the right hand side i'm going to have 10 then of course plus uh, 5 times p i'm going to get uh, 5p then of course 5 times negative 1 i'm going to get negative 5 so this will give us a 10 then of course minus 5 then plus a 5p i've simply collected the like terms so this one will give us a 10 minus 5 i'm going to get a 5 then of course plus a 5 a p therefore this is what we are calling the uh, pith term of this particular uh, progression then uh, there's another statement that we were given we are told that uh, the pith term of this particular progression is actually greater than uh, it is greater than 124 therefore let's interpret uh, that particular statement so we are told that the pith term of the progression is greater than 124 so the pith term of this particular progression is greater than 124 but because we have the equivalence of the pith term which is 5 plus 5p it simply means that when we take 5 then of course plus 5p this one must be greater than 124 so this will be a 5p is greater than a 124 i'm taking 5 towards the right hand side of course it will be negative so minus 5 so that means uh, 5p is greater than if you take 124 minus 5 you are going to get 119 then i'll divide through uh, by 5 i also divide through by 5 so that 5 and 5 cancels out so it means that p uh, will be greater than so i'm going to take uh, 119 uh, divided by 5 so 119 divided by 5 I'm going to get uh, 23.8 so this is uh, I'm getting 23.8 uh, but uh, the question did not want the value of uh, P so uh, the value of P is greater than 23.8 but remember P actually represents the number of terms and we know that there is a key point that we need to always remember here so an NB uh, the number of terms uh, the number of terms the number of terms uh, the number of terms are usually are uh, usually uh, positive integers uh, they are usually positive uh, integers uh, positive uh, integers they are usually positive uh, integers uh, positive integers or what we call the natural numbers uh, uh, natural natural numbers so the number of terms are usually uh, positive integers only of course when we talk of positive integers we simply mean positive whole numbers uh, alone so that means that you cannot have the number of terms having a decimal uh, point so the number of terms are usually either one two 
a three, a four, uh, and so on and so forth. So they, they must be whole numbers. Then, of course, the positive whole numbers. For example, you cannot have uh, the number of terms being negative uh, three. It's not possible. The number of terms must be natural numbers or what we are calling the positive uh, integers. Therefore, because we have the statement P uh, is greater than 23.8, you cannot have 23.8 number of terms. They must be uh, natural numbers or the positive integers. So because we are told to uh, find the least uh, possible value of P, therefore we'll ask ourselves, from P is greater than 23.8, uh, what is the least possible whole number that is greater than 23.8? Therefore, we find that the least possible whole number that is greater than 23.8 is actually uh, 24. So 24 is the least whole number that is greater than 23.8. Therefore, we'll conclude and say the value of P, it must be 24. So for example, we cannot pick 22 because 22 is less than uh, P. So the value of P must be greater than a uh, 23.8 and the next whole number or the least whole number which is greater than a uh, 23.8 is actually a uh, 24 therefore our value of p is 24 so thank you very much for accompanying me until the end of this particular lesson i do not take it for granted in case you are new to the channel kindly hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so that whenever i upload a new video you'll get notified so in the next uh, lessons, we'll be looking at further examples involving 10 marks in this particular uh, topic. Until next time, this is Kind Tuition Academy. Thank you very much.